Hey guys, how are you all doing on this Saturday morning? I hope you are sitting down and doing some crafting. I hope you have a little time for that. That's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to be doing some crafting. We are going to do some recycled crafting. I'm going to take this empty cereal box and I'm going to transform it into kind of like a um a binder slash like folder, like a little storage thing. Um I bought a four pack of these metal like binder inserts on Amazon and it is like absolutely perfect. So this is going to go on the inside of my cereal box. And this is what I'm going to use to like a, I also bought a bunch of like these plastic page protectors. And I think this is going to be the start of when I like organize all of my, um, like glue book cutouts, all of my cutout images. I'm going to think I'm going to use this to organize my images. Now check out what is on the back of this box. <laughs> this is like the only reason why I uh, wanted to save this box and make it into a binder for this image. Particularly, this is on the back of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal box. Now, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like one of my favorite cereals, has been since I was a kid. So seeing this glorious image on the back of the box where there are no words, there is nothing else, it is just this image. And I'm going to use this as the front of my binder. This is going to be the front and some it's going to open up this way. And I'm like, that's just, it's perfect. I, I have to recycle this cereal box. When I saw this, I was like, I have to recycle this. I have to turn it into something. So yeah, I'm going to use this on the inside only because I don't want to try and sew signatures into it. I didn't want to turn this into a glue book. I just didn't want to try and mess with sewing signatures into it at all. But I'm just so happy I found these on Amazon kind of like by accident in a way. And it's like they're just absolutely perfect. So let's stop gabbing and start getting to it. So I'm going to open up the bottom because i got to cut open the sides. So i got to cut up this side because this is going to be opening this way here. So there we go. Carefully. Got to carefully cut down the side here. Might help if I kind of flatten it a little bit. There we go. I was just so geeked when I picked up the cereal and saw this on the back. I was like, yes, I have to use this in a craft somehow. Have to use it in a craft. All right, now I'm going to cut off all of the tabs. I'm not sure what I want to do, like, on the inside. I I don't know if I want to, um, how I want to, like, decorate it at all. Or maybe I just might leave it blank and eventually I'll kind of cover it with maybe, I don't know, stickers or just, you know, glue book images since this is going to be where I'm going to start organizing some of my glue book cutouts. Sorry if I keep bumping the camera, guys. I don't have a whole lot of room to work with here. I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. Just got to cut off all of these flaps here. Almost there, almost. Ha -ha. So yeah, guys, definitely save your cereal boxes. If you have one that has a really cool image on it like this, go ahead and save it. All right, and then this is going to be stuck right in the middle here. What's cool is it comes with these and they're just, they're screws. They just like screw it right together. So that's like absolutely amazing. And it comes in a four pack. So I got four of these. So I can totally make three more of these with three other cereal boxes, which I probably totally will. So let's see, I need, got one of the screw end and then here's the back. So you will need, you will need a flat head uh, screwdriver, flat one. And then I got a hole punch to uh, punch out the holes. I wonder if that hole punch is too big. You know what, we're experimenting. Okay, I need to get out one more for the bottom. Get all my little pieces here. Let's see, uh, where's a pencil? Here we go. So I'm going to kind of line this up. See how it fits in there? Almost like, it's like perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Draw a circle where those have to go. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And yet I will still also cover up like the back and this edge. This is going to stay blank. I am not doing anything to this because this is like, this is the centerpiece. This is the, this is it. This is the whole reason we're doing this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I wanted to put like a uh, scrapbook paper on it or not. 
Or maybe I should cover like the edges with like some washi tape or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, the thing is what's nice about these is I can always unscrew it and take it out and like cover this up if I need to, which is so nice. I absolutely love that so much. All right, so I'm gonna punch some holes here. I kind of just wonder if that might be too big. Should I maybe get my, uh, I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife. Hang on, guys. I think I might try the X-Acto knife instead. So that way I don't make the hole too big because that hole punch looks a little too big. All right, do this carefully, guys. I might have to take a couple passes at it because this is thick cardboard. But see how quick and easy this is? I mean, already I'm starting to get my thing inside. It's just that quick and easy. Darn, I wish I remember the link. I could have left a link for these for you guys. I don't I don't remember what they were called. Maybe, maybe I'll still try. I'll try and find it, and I'll leave a link for those uh, binder inserts for you. My little thing keeps getting loose. I think I'll do that. I'll leave a link. I might have to go and do some searching first before I find it, but yeah. This is much slower going than using the hole punch, but I think it'll be better this way instead of having such a big hole. All right, almost through. Ha ha, perfect. All right, there is one. Let's flip it over and do the other one. <clears throat> this is, makes me so excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, save your cereal boxes and you can totally make little book binders like this. I mean, you can even have your kids do it. It's so easy. If they want a nice, cool little binder for like school or something, since, you know, school is going to be starting pretty darn soon. Yeah, so they can organize a lot of their uh, school stuff. I kind of wonder if I should maybe put something here to hold that since that is where the seam is. I don't want that to rip. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. All right, perfect. Yeah, I even got these these uh, plastic sheet protectors, uh, 16 count at the Dollar Tree. You can find this at the Dollar Tree, guys. They're a little bit longer though, so they're gonna stick out, but I am okay with that. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna bother me. It's not gonna bother me. I might spot, it might bother some people, but it's, it's not gonna bother me. I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it bother me. All right. Now it's just a matter of getting this through that hole. Like so. And then you stick that over there. And then this just screws on. Come on. Hmm, it looks like it's going to be a little bit looser. I guess I didn't didn't realize that. So yeah, there's gonna be a gap. It's gonna be loosey goosey. Huh, interesting. Well, you know what? <clears throat> it's all it's all part of experimenting. I could always um add, like I still got my uh extra pieces here. I could always add more pieces there to kind of make it thicker. I could do could totally do that. I don't know, we'll see. Now I gotta just Tighten that down. Make sure that's in tight. And I can always take it off. We can always fix it. That kind of is weird that how it's so uh so thick. I wonder what they were thinking it was gonna be used on. I don't know. But you know what I could also always do to kind of help that is I can get some tiny little uh, washers. I think that's an easier idea. Is um with that gap there. I don't know if I got, guys can see, if you can see the little, there's a gap there. You can get some like uh, washers. You can go to the local hardware store or, you know, ask your husband to look in his toolbox. I'm sure he'll have spare washers somewhere. Else. Real tiny ones, like little, little tiny washers. And you can just kind of stack them up so that when you tighten this down, when you put that on there, when you put washers on there, it, it won't, it won't move because there'll be something there to keep it in place. There you go, yeah. See, you just gotta think outside the box. But of course, I've also worked with lots of tools and washers and things, and so 
that actually came to mind a lot easier. So I probably will do that. I'll probably find some just little, little like lock washers or small washers and just fill up that gap there so that this won't move like that. Yep. Totally, totally easy fix. It's a total easy fix, but look at that. Just like that. I've got a, I've got a little binder. <laughs> Let's stick some plastic pages in it. Yeah, this, the cereal box is like, you know, it's shorter than the uh, standard, um, like uh, actual binder. That's why these, uh, plastic pages, this plastic uh, are going to be, uh, they're going to stick out. Yeah. At the, the top there. Stick some in there. That doesn't stick out too far. I think it'll be all right. But uh, you know, you can always. What you can always do is you can always add add a piece to the edge if you wanted to make it wider. Or you know, there are cereal boxes that are bigger. You can always you know measure the cereal box and get a bigger cereal box if you want. But I'm good with this one because I like the image on the front. <laughs> I think it turned out so cute. Oh my gosh, this is actually working out so amazing. I love this. Get in there. Get in there. This makes me so happy. And see how quick and easy it was too? I wasn't expecting it to go that fast either. Wow. But of course, it's you can always play around with it too. Experiment, you know. You can decorate it if you want. You probably will want to decorate yours so you don't have the cereal box look. Me, I'm not too particular at this point right now. I just wanted to try it out, see how it would work. Plus, I'm not decorating this front piece because this is, oh, it's like the best find ever. It made me so happy. All right, let's get the rest of these on here. One at a time is driving me nuts. Come on. It might still have to be one at a time because they have slippery little buggers not cooperating. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Yep, they do stick out like that, but I'm okay with that. I will figure something out. It's not going to bother me yet. And I will probably find some washers to fill in that gap so that doesn't... So that doesn't move. So it's all just experimentation. We're just learning how to recycle things and just having fun with it. But I love this. I love this so much. I'm trying to trying to think. We can brainstorm, guys. What do you think of brainstorming? How should we make this a little bit wider to kind of cover that up? I'm thinking what I could do is get another cereal box and kind of cut out cut out its piece like this. And then what I could do is like add pieces of Velcro. I could add Velcro to the inside and I can Velcro a piece to cover that and then I can easily just be taken off. Or I'll glue it on this side so it'll fold around and then Velcro it to that. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm seeing, I got a vision. I got a vision guys, so maybe stick around. Maybe I'll bring another video back and we'll, we'll finish, we'll finish this up. Maybe we'll decorate the inside a bit and we'll play around with adding a piece of the edge. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta wait till I have another empty cereal box though. I don't eat the cereal too fast. I'm sorry guys. I don't eat cereal too fast, but yeah, I think I kind of like that. So we'll get another cereal box. We'll kind of cut off its other corner edge and we'll just kind of use that to cover that up. And it'll be like a full complete little box. You can have your own little box of cereal to store stuff in it. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Well, that was quick and easy and fun. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. So yeah, if you want some of these nice plastic page protectors, Dollar Tree. It's a 16 count pack. I always get mine at the Dollar Tree. And they work just as good. They, they may be on the real thin side, but they still work. I'll probably fill these all with a piece of white computer paper, and then I can use it to uh, sort and organize all of my uh, all of my harvestable images. And I get a lot of them here. I mean, technically, with one of them, if you stick a piece of paper in, you get two sides. So technically, you get like what 16, 16, that's 32. So you get like the 32 pockets to organize 32 different different themes. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it when things come together. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope this was very inspiring to you. I hope it gave you some new ideas to kind of recycle stuff and to, you know, make fun things. And you can make this into a glue book. You can sew signatures into it if you want. I might do that with a cereal box in the future. But I didn't want to do that right now. I didn't want to do that with this box. But maybe in the future I will. I will turn one into a... Uh, a actual glue book and probably put in some signatures. I'm not sure yet. I can always cut it down to make it a smaller one. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. He, I love my image on the front. It turned out so good. So yeah, definitely stick around, you know, like and subscribe because uh, we'll be uh, making more fun stuff from recycled items and just, you know, having fun, experimenting. You never know if it's going to work out until you try it. You don't know. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. No idea. Hit a few bumps, but I managed to figure out ways how to fix it and make it better. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard. Don't be so discouraged. Don't be discouraged if things don't don't 100% turn out how you wanted them to or expect them to. It's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. I'm still happy with how this did turn out. I'm still pretty pleased. I'm excited to actually, you know, start playing with it. And yeah, Crafting Saturdays. Oh, I love it. So now I'm going to go sit down on the couch and do some more crafting. I think I might bring out my cross stitch. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because that sounds like fun. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me again. You know, hit the like button, subscribe because more is coming. And, you know, I'll leave a little comment if you want to. I love reading your comments. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for, uh, you know, sit and craft with me Sunday. Okay. Have a wonderful Saturday, guys.